So there was someone who was fraudulently using an identification of mine back in 1998. No, I was arrested on a warrant that said person must have obtained under my name. So the problem here again is that this case file that I got from the courts after being transferred over to Harden is missing the arrest information, including the mugshot of this asshole. I plainly said, ma'am, that I'll go to the police station and talk to them when I'm done here. I don't know why they call. Let's see how people get. I don't even know what's going on. I don't, where y'all talking about? We'll start over, but now you're interrupting me with this. I'm Chris. I'm interrupting? Yes, I'm trying to do my records. And so now I'm, and your phone's ringing. This is a lot of stuff going on at once. It's unnecessary. Because this is, this was a case from 98 that was a Commonwealth attorney, a case with possession of marijuana, which is a misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. And after five years, I can give you a copy of our retention schedule, but after five years, those files are destroyed. We no longer keep them. What's your name? It's Chris. What's your name and ID. position, please? ID, please. Oh, yeah. Your ass, Holman. Radcliffe City Hall and this is apparently where the police station is so I'm here to report the fraud that was alleged by the Kentucky State Police uh, as well as the Hardin County Courthouse they're alleging that there was a fraud in 1998 at very least if not more um, and it could very well be that there was a fraud so that's why we're here um, hang tight we'll see what happens we've got official misconduct with me so yeah all right, here we go. City Hall, City of Radcliffe, William Burns Building. After you misconduct. Huh, that's weird. <laughs> We're gonna catch y'all. You don't know how to operate a door. I promise I can read. I just try not to. Yes, ma'am. Is the city police department here? It's the next two-story brick building. Of course it is. GPS <laughs> brought us to the wrong place. Can I get records from an old case file with you? That would be the police department. I'm not sure. They don't have any records here of a form. Remember when the courthouse used to be here? Back in the early 2000s? Courthouse used to be above the police department. Is that where it was? So this building here doesn't have any affiliation with any of the records from back then? No. It would all be at the police department. Thank you. And if it was with the courthouse, then you'd have to go to E-Town to the courthouse. Understood. Yeah. See, I'm being sent from E-Town to, to see uh, if I can retrieve records from... 99. We'll check with the police department. We'll do. Thank you, ma'am. What was your name? Laura. Laura, we appreciate your service. Thank you. you Thanks for your help. Day. You Thank too. Thank you. So we'll walk. Okay, folks. So what we learned was we were at the wrong building. They have like a whole uh, area here for the parking lot with all these different buildings. So this is the one we're supposed to be at, from what I understand. Hall of Justice uh, should be here where the police station is. Well, how nifty was that? I saw that. 
and police department. Hello. Hi. You are being audio and video recorded. Records department. There's where we go. Here we are. Yes, ma'am. Is there someone available to help me with a very old record? A very old record? How old? It is from 98, 99-ish. And then I'm going to need to speak with the police officer as well. Okay. Um, let's talk to the police officer first. Oh, okay, so go back out those doors. And as soon as you hit that front door, turn to your left. There's a button on the wall that says dispatch. Yeah. They moved them out of here. So you've got to push that button and then they'll dispatch an officer up here. And then once you get with him, then we can work on the old No, I want to work on the record first. You want to work on the record first? Yes, ma'am. the number? Uh, sure. Can we, can you uh, step over here so we can look at it together? Sure. Okay. Hi. I'm Chris. This is Tiffany. And we have a project for you. So... There was someone who was fraudulently using an identification of mine back in 1998. No. I was arrested on a warrant that said person must have obtained under my name. So the problem here again is that this case file that I got from the courts after being transferred over to Harden is missing the arrest information, including the mugshot of this asshole. So. Why arrested me? Oh, you mean recently? No. Who, who is there? This wasn't me. Okay. Have you filed a identity theft report? That's what I'm here for with the cop. But but first, I want the mugshot okay. from this. Have to speak to the officer first. So Why? This is a record. It's. File a report first. That doesn't have. I don't have to file a report to get the record. Okay. What's your name? It's it. Well, you're gonna have to go off the name here. It was Chris. Christopher, R-E-I-T-T-R. Back in 1998. How about fingerprint? That's, they better use my name. You don't keep the jail records here? Uh, the jail records? No, this isn't the jail. They, they keep that at Hardin County. Hardin County didn't have it. He told me to come here. Well, if it's the jail records, this isn't the jail. So we'd have to well, yeah, no, I'm looking for the arrest record. The arrest record we would have. What is your name? I can look it's it Chris, but it's not my name. See, here. Let me see what then you what you're going to look up, here's what you're going to look up. And I can write it down for you. Okay. It's um. You want me to write it? It's Christopher. Uh huh. R e i t t r. R e i t t t r. Don't pay attention to them changing it. R e i. It's Christopher. Okay, write, down, write down what. She's getting it. Okay. R e i t t r. And I can look up the arrest records we have here. Thank you. That's all. I yep, and I want those. Like I want a copy of everything you got. Well, if it's somebody else and it's not you, I can't give you somebody else's information. Well, you have to for me because I'm in civil court over it. I mean, I'm sorry, in criminal court over it. I need it for the judge. Okay, well, then your attorney will have to file a motion. I am my attorney. He's pro se right now. Okay. So he, he gets access to those records. Thank you. <laughs> Make it hard on people to get things solved. <laughs> Trying to get me to talk to the cop first. Why? So he can get silly on me and push me out before I get my stuff done? Is it because of the camera or is it because of the way things are today, this day and age? That's what I want to know. Is it because of the camera or is it just because this is how they do people? It's just the tyranny. It's just, I think this is just how they do people. Most people just don't have a record of it. So you got your commandments and the Gettysburg Address and the Incongru. So you got all this stuff. Pledge of Allegiance to the black and white flag. Behind you. People coming in behind you. Public. Professional Standards Committee Award. Oh, look at this. They pay their anonymous tips cash. 
Look at that. I speak language of identification, guys. How ironic is that? Excuse me. How you doing, buddy? And uh, for the driver's license, was it the second floor on the path? We have no idea, buddy. Yeah, we're not even We're just... Here. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're trying to get records. <laughs> she might be able to direct you. Ma'am, they're wondering where the driver's license stuff is. Down in Elizabethtown. Elizabethtown. 1055 Walter Barrel. Over by Cracker Barrel. Uh, Over by Cracker Barrel? Yeah, might be that for you. you Ma'am, you said it was 1055 what? I, I, I got it. He's got it here. I, oh. I need to hear her. Okay. Do you have a, a specific date for a case or for an arrest? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let me hold this. Yes. You can just hold it on there. Uh, the date would have been. Is that the citation there? Mm -mm. This is. This is where it's at. Starting route to 1055 North Can I see Street. that? Um. Yeah, I, I don't want you to take it anywhere. No, 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 no. I'm going to look at it right here. You got it? I just want to look at the... Yeah, I understand. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't... Good luck, guys. Drive safe. No, you're fine. This will help me if I can find the... Because um, a lot of times, way back when they used to keep records, they would keep the name of the victim and not necessarily the name of the perpetrator on the record. Okay. So in order to look it up, this number will help me. Okay. So I'll at least know. Thank you for your help. No, no problem. I mean, I'm going to do what I can for you. Yeah, I mean, I just need records to show the judge. And I'm and I'm going to ask for an officer after this for assistance and maybe being able to locate the fraud. Because <laughs> whoever it is has been getting away with it for way too long, apparently. I, I have no clue. Using your identity is what you're saying. You, my old one from 1998. Someone stole one of my IDs. 20 years. We don't even know what kind of damage they got. So now I'm just now learning about it because I had to take an arrest because <laughs> of something this idiot did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so know. now I'm resolving this situation here yeah, now. Let me see. <laughs> let me see what I have on this this case number right here. You okay, you do realize they changed the case number, right? Yeah. Well, the crim when it gets to court, this is Radcliffe's case number. That's when what it you gets need. To court, the court will change it to a criminal record. Bingo. Yeah. Okay. Well, the the change they did was later, but yeah. it's okay. Let this me, this makes sense to me. Let what me you look just said. Do you have another one? Is this the only one? This is the only one I know of. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm going to ask the officers to check and make sure that there was no more, you know. Yeah, we don't need any more just laying and waiting. Hello. What's, so what's going on? What can I help y'all with? What do you mean? Is everything all right? What's up? What's going on? It is, but what is going on? I don't know. Somebody said y'all need some help. <laughs> we specifically said we'll handle that when we're done here. Yeah, we were going to come but, over so, to you. Hang on. Somebody called you over here, even though I said... Irregardless to exactly what I said was, I'll handle that when I leave here. Handle what? What I need to go to the police station for. <laughs> I'll use you, all right, but you shouldn't. Have, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why you were called. Well, we'll get to that whenever we'll we get to. We'll get to. You'll you. understand. We just have. I'm just thinking, why are we being interrupted now for something I I plainly said, ma'am, that I'll go to the police station to talk to them when I'm done here. Okay. I don't know why they called. Well, let's see how people get. I don't even know what's going on. I don't, what are y'all talking about? We'll start over, but now you're interrupting me with this. I'm Chris. I'm interrupting? Yes. I'm trying to do my records. And so now I'm, and your phone's ringing. This is a lot of stuff going on at once. It's unnecessary. Well, I need to make a report with you. Okay. Regarding what I need to finish here first. I'm getting, I'm getting my report. I'm getting my records for an incident in which I'm going to need to talk to you about when I'm done getting my records. And you'll have and, to have those records in order to file the report. Yeah. It's a process. They jumped the gun and called you over here when I specifically said, wait. Yeah, but I can leave. You, know, my you can wait if you want. I don't want to waste your time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like what yeah, I'm, but I don't understand. But there's obviously something going on because y'all recorded. Oh, yes, me. that's called a record. It's a, it's, well, I don't have a problem with that. Well, you can't. So you, uh, the, the deal is, no, no, don't take me wrong. I'm trying to explain. Yeah, but I'm trying to be nice to help you I'm all. Gonna, you you're going to realize I'm going to be nice. Just listen. Okay. Just listen and you'll understand. I'm doing this because I'm in the middle of a legal matter, okay. a legal matter in which I'm in court for. Okay. This is a record for that court. So I am recording everything that's going on during this process because I've never had anything like this happen to me. It's not, it's very complicated. It's not an easy case. Someone was frauding my identity back in 1998. Okay. That's a lot of work to figure out. Right. I don't know what all they did. I don't know if they got my credit, I don't, but what I do know is they're criminals. This person was a criminal under my name. Okay. Spelled wrong at an address I've never heard of 
here at Radcliffe. So we're going to have to figure out what to do to like make sure there isn't more that I'm going to have to deal with. And also I have to resolve this with my current judge. Yeah, he had to take a arrest. Yeah, I got arrested. I'm something I never even heard of. Okay. I had no idea about any of this. When All of a sudden I get arrested, you know what I mean? For uh for something this idiot did with my license in 98. Okay. Uh, a marijuana cigarette apparently. So this is why I didn't want to do this cuz now I'm going back sorry buddy. No, you're fine. He's going to understand what I'm getting ready to tell you anyway. Okay. Because this is this was a case from 98 that was a Commonwealth attorney a case with possession of marijuana, which is a misdemeanor. Mm -hmm. And after five years, I can give you a copy of our retention schedule, but after five years, those files are destroyed. We no longer keep them. Does the case get dropped as well at that point? Um, that, I don't know. I'm not okay. a lawyer. I can't tell you. I don't know anything about that. Very so curious as to how they're pushing a criminal charge on me Okay. 25 years later on something you can't even get records for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. Like I understand it's... your frustration totally. Yeah. But after five years, I can give you a copy of the retention schedule. I'll take to that. Get that. Yes. Yep. And, and that will tell you that after five years, any misdemeanors, and you're going to struggle with this if there's more, any misdemeanors are not going to be. Present. You hear what she's saying? That's why I was going to. you guys don't upload we, anything? No. Okay. The, it means destruction, like it no longer exists. Yeah, I know so what you we mean. Don't, we yeah. don't get to keep would that also have included like a mugshot or a fingerprint file? If or? we had that, yes. It, it would have. have I thought they record. kept fingerprints forever and, it and ever. It covers that. The retention schedule, you'll be able to read it. It'll tell you everything it covers. Well, so that way you'll know. Okay. Give me a I'll read it when you give it to me. Yep. Okay? Thank you. No problem. What was your name? Angel Johnson. Thank you, Miss Johnson. You're welcome. So you can see I'm not being rude. I'm just making sure that I'm covering all my bases and doing it right. And I definitely need this recording for what I'm going What's through. How you doing, buddy? Good. What's your name? Uh, I'm recording all of this. Are you back up? For what? I'm, not, I'm asking. What are you all talking about? You coming into our police department? It's got the oh, it's yeah. we the people. Well, you stop those. We the people's police department. We're doing sir, it. Please. What are you doing? Come, if they don't need no business up here. No, we. we no, I need have him. Business. We are conducting business. And then we we'll, also have business to conduct with you guys once we finish. Yes. What's finish your name, officer? Business. Name and position, please. What's your name? It's Chris. What's your name ID? and position, please? ID, please. Oh, no, your ass. No, we don't do that. Holman. <laughs> That's cute. See what is this? That's no, what cool. is this, man? What is your rank? Since you don't know the Constitution. Is that three strike? Look at that, Lieutenant. You don't have nothing out front out here, but a guy <laughs> needs to get records. Then get your you need to mind your own business. Get your records. You need, you need to get off me. Bro. Bro. You just, you, you stopped. Not you stopped. No. Don't, don't. I need your help. Uh, I need his help. They're helping you. Bro, you need to de escalate. Bro, you need to learn what you're doing. Bro. Hey. We'll be following the bro. I will be in there. I want, I want to know your name bro. said on this record. Name Thanks, and position. Sir. Name and position. Hi. Idiot. Punk. Thanks for giving us content. Woo. Wow, your cops are bad here too, aren't they? Have they, do they do that to everybody? I can't speak for that. I don't know. Sure. Have you seen them do that to people asking for okay, legit so records? Here's what you've asked for. Okay, this is the retention for officers' daily activities, felony investigations, misdemeanor investigations. So Can you highlight the areas I'm going to need? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right. She's great. Ms. Johnson, thank you. Yeah. What was that about? I want to put in a Felony investigations her. here. Okay. She's doing great. And then this is this is investigations other than felony. So that covers everything other than a felony, which is to include a misdemeanor. Yeah. And it says misdemeanor right here. Okay. And it'll tell you in here when that we can get rid of it. If okay. it's a felony, it'll be a 50-year file. If it's a if oh. it's a misdemeanor, it, we destroyed it after five. I understand. Five. Okay. Thank you. And you can find this online. You can go online and you can look up Kentucky right. retention schedule for law enforcement. It, it'll be on there. Okay. So you Kentucky can state it. site's a bit tricky to navigate. I'm used yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. in Indiana. Well, um, if it's a PDF, you'll control F and you can search. Anything you want to search in there, it'll take you to those areas that cover that. Okay. So it'll, it'll kind of narrow it down a little, make it a little easier for you to find what you're looking for, okay? Nice. Thank you. Um, thank you so much. And then you, you really filled in a big hole because we didn't know if there was a way to get some more records. So now I'm well, learning. And you're going to probably see the same problem if you've got to go to sure. places after. If it's older than five years, if it's just a misdemeanor, you're going to struggle to find Yeah, that's what we're finding. Places might, but they're, they're going against the I just, you know what I want? Any identification factor. Like a fingerprint would be amazing because I was more than happy to. They may not. If, if what, they're wait, what? The same retention policy, Who should have that? The jail. But if they're following the same retention schedule we do, they destroy after But why would they destroy fingerprints? You know what I'm saying? 
Because used to, they didn't have to keep them the way that they do now. That's not what I was told by the feds. I mean, I was told by the feds that they always kept fingerprints since the 60s. With their as I am she's probably just passing along. Oh, I know what she's doing. She's doing great. Yeah, you're amazing. Well, yes. I don't know who called the police over here before I. She shouldn't have done letter. that. I, that I that created that it. animosity because I wasn't ready to talk to him yet. I wanted to focus on my, our conversation. You, he started getting in our did business. You, did you take care of everything you needed, though, with us? No, we're well, not with the cops, but if you, I think so. If you're telling me that there's nothing else here, so I understand that. Well, there um, isn't anything else I can do for you guys. Can I get a Kleenex? I killed yeah, sure. a bug on your and window. And then, can <laughs> do you have an accommodation uh, slash grievance paper here? It's not a grievance on you. Just, it's a just kudos. The, just let her. It's a website, but I'm not entirely sure. Can we do it in person? A grievance slash accommodation form. Let me see if I have that. Thank you. We can use it both places here. Like both ways. <laughs> grievance on the ground. Sir, can I get your help? Are you with the Radcliffe City Police Department? Yes. I'm a can I get your help? Because those guys were, what they went right. Um, this case, it is 25 years old. Mm -hmm. What a wreck. What a mess. It is a mess. Well, I needed to talk to the records first and deal with that. He came over and interrupted me, and I was trying to be polite and, and tell him, you're interrupting me, and I'll just give you give me just a minute, and I'll be able to focus my attention to you because this is a big thing I'm about to report. So he got antsy. He kept asking more questions. I'm like, bro, just wait. Let me get this done, okay, because this, this is my life we're talking about here. Um, then another cop came over here and got shitty with us. He just stood here. What are you doing here? What are you doing? You know, there he is. You know, all that. Like, And, I, and I'm like, okay. why are you doing that? You don't need to know. Just be patient, guys. Okay, we're, we're beyond that. What is it? All right, so let's get let's fast forward past it. I'm angry. I want to file a complaint on him and the other guy. Okay, um, you've done that. However, what's that? You've, done, you've just done that. No, I want it formal. I'll handle that. I want it formal, and I want to repeat. I want to come back and follow up and make sure you do something. And, and, and sign up the paperwork, and you'll sign an affidavit. You want to You're the chief. On. Thank you, sir. I appreciate Man, can I, if I could check it, how about a little high five what, under the window? What, what else we got here? What, what we, we got here is this old case, okay? Is and, it a misdemeanor? Yeah, it's an old misdemeanor. You want a record of it? No. What I want you guys to do is ensure that this guy hasn't been doing other things to, back then. I want to make sure that I have a clean record in both my name and the one that fraud was doing. Well, you'll I, need to check with the courts there. already have. I'm in the courts there because of this guy. Right. Okay. Someone used my ID back in 98 okay. and committed crime okay. and then went through the whole process, drug screening, whole nine yards. Okay. Yeah, Under my, with my ID. I know it wasn't me, and they have the name spelled different. So I'm wondering, well, maybe it wasn't even right. the address right. ain't right, but it's my license number and right. my birth date. Right. How ironic would it be? So he stole your identity back in 98. Yes, sir. And I'm curious as to, has he been doing other things illegal since 1998 till now? And I would assume that the guys from the address that, that they busted him at did for the check joint. The courts, did you check your records in the courts under your name? No, I will when I get there. I'm that's on my what, way that's back. What I'm that's what you need to do. You need to check with the courts and see if there's any history of any arrests being made with your using your information. The name with the misspelling, right. Name, okay. date of birth, social security number. Check it all. Okay, address, okay. Address, anything that you have that, that was yours that he might have gotten, Check with the courts to make sure there hadn't been any arrests made. Or even citations or anything. Yeah, anything. You They'll know. have that. They'll have that. Okay. Of well, what I was told, sir. Citations, misdemeanors, and felonies. What I was told, sir, was to come here specifically because the, what they're, the other police there are thinking is, well, the guy's from Radcliffe. Most likely anything he did is probably going to be in Radcliffe. Well, what we would run it under, though, is your name, not his. Well, that's because what he used, yeah. Your information, that's what I want you to do. Yeah. I want you to run and make sure there's nothing else. So you want a you want a history check on you under you my name record. so yeah, that I can look that. at it and we say yeah. I'm sure you'd love to after that little incident <laughs> I don't mind it though I didn't do nothing please nine zero two line one face back there is getting getting himself a formal report so that was the chief guys we just talked to the chief about everything he seemed like he was legit uh, but he didn't want to take the actual formal report report on his grievance. You know, that's a big problem, guys. These guys protect each other. It's back in the, the thin blue line. Um, that's one of the ways they do it because it's not formalized, meaning it doesn't go into the system. They just hear it. They don't write anything down about it, and it doesn't go anywhere. So I don't like doing them that way. If I'm going to do one that's for a real reason, I make sure that uh, it gets recorded.
I think we've seen it all here. I used to trust. I used to trust, please. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Major intimidation. Yep. Oh, they tried the circle. Don't forget that. Sir, what was that officer's name? Which one? The one that came out here and got all tyrant on me. Uh, Lieutenant oh. Holman? Lieutenant, I saw Holman Lieutenant Uniform Stripes. Uniform oh. officer? Holm? Holman. Holman, that's Holman. it. Okay. Yes. Make sure you, I mean, a lieutenant I'll, acting like that? I, hold on now. We'll, we'll, we'll let, let me take care of those things. Let me oh, finish, I want it formalized. Let me finish, finish what you're talking about here. You have no record here with us since 1998 under your name. Since that offense. Pardon? Since that offense. That happened in Redcliffe. Right, right, right. Since you show then, nothing else? Nothing else. Thank you for looking. Nothing else. I appreciate that. Let's t let's deal with your officer. You, I'll deal with my officers. I want it formalized. If you file a formal complaint, you have to do that at City Hall. You can't do it here. Over there? Yes. Okay. That's what I'll do. Now, you'll handle it, though, right? Did you see what happened? I'll handle Would it. Would you like the record? I'll handle it without you even doing that. But if you want to do that, you go ahead. I believe you will, but I like things on record. And I like to follow up and make sure that. And I'll take care of it. And look, you'll get an accommodation afterwards, even as the damn chief. Because, I, listen. I don't want accommodations. I don't need accommodations. I'm going to do it anyway, whether you like lot, it or not. i got a lot to do. I'm not going to stand here and argue with you. Okay? I, an argument I'm offering. Okay. I'm offering to do something good for you, but you better do it. You know what I mean? If you don't do it, you ain't going to get an accommodation. You're going to get blasted on my channel. That's what you want to do. All right. All right. Yep. You need to learn how to get it all checked around here. So there we go, guys. There's another issue. Radcliffe City Police Department is a damn mess. Of course, it's Hardin County. Were you oh. looking up the website for us? Oh, I thought you were done. Um, like your And this is for the record, guys. They got all their names. I'll, I'll scan across and then I'll scan their names. It goes way back there. Oh, this is just Chiefs. So there's the Chief we just spoke with. Cross. This is going to be how we uh, do something fun with the video there in the end. And that was a damn mess. That shouldn't have happened. That officer was way out of line. Way out of line. your date of birth just to confirm that they ran the right one? 10 77 I just wanted to run you through our system that began in 2006 and now so I can verify there's nothing. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this the yeah, that's and just thank the you for being pleasant. Time. Apparently your police got to take a few tips out of your hat. No, the way they spelled it was T-R. And then my real, the real spelling, R-E-I-T-E-R. I know, it gets confusing when you say them both. I'm sorry. Any of those spellings. Okay. So, so. no record in our system since 2006 at all whatsoever. Okay. Good I mean, deal. Prior to that, the 98 case, we wouldn't have that on file. No, that only covers Radcliffe, though, so I would have to do that at, like, every... Every place where you might have had... Needle in a haystack. I would... Well, here's my suggestion to you. Go to the Kentucky State Police and get a copy of your background check through them. <laughs> That's where so I got arrested. $5. I was arrested by Kentucky State Police because I went to Kentucky Those State Police. When you get a thirty-five dollar background check, you'll have everything there that's happened with you in the state of Kentucky. You'll be able to. That's that what's up online. Thank you. Uh -huh. I will have do it. Day. It was a pleasant Thank experience you. with have you. A good day. Thank you. All right, guys. Now we're all really out of here. So cops are all over our ass now because we got a tyrant working here in this facility who thinks he can talk to the public like shit. And uh, guys, we don't deal with that very well, do we? How you doing, buddy? Can I help y'all? Nope. Okay. Just on the way up. I don't know. It's annoying around here with all the sirens and alarms, though. What we're doing here is, uh, they said this is where the grievance forms, how's it going, buddy? Where for the police. The grievance forms for the police are supposed to be here. So that's what we're doing. We're going to file on assholes. Hello. I need to get some grievance forms for the uh, police department next door. Two of them. Uh, actually, three. Oh, because of accommodation is one as well? Yeah. 
unless you have like a separate apartment. Oh, look at that. Okay, let me in here. This, this is how it should be, guys. Right here. Agreements and accommodation forms should always it be on the wall. It should be, but <laughs> they're not. She's like, it's that well, you might print some new ones out. Right and there. Um, yes, let me. While let you're me printing, just it. do an extra three for us. Yes. Thank you. Let me go find that real quick. Cops are bad here. The ladies are great, though. Is the mayor available? Oh, she's on the phone. I'm sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm going to show the mayor what just happened. He's coming down? Oh, his assistant? I don't even know if he's in the building. Does his assistant handle mayoral issues? Uh, I think so. Awesome. Well, that was really nice of you. Thank you. What's your name? Cindy. Cindy. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. I like to try to help these cities do the right thing. Got a tyrant working over there at the police station. In the lieutenant position. Not good. You found candy. Rogue Nation, this is a shout out for you, bro. Look what, look what official misconduct just dug into. She got suckers. <laughs> now good. Here's our complaint form. All right. Um, so it's just that top part portion for you. Easy peasy. Okay. So three of them. All right. I'm waiting on the mayor's assistant to come down okay. at this point. So. Thank you. You're welcome. And what was your name? My name is Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. What kind of for you? Is Murray in? Do you want to do this? So here's their forms. I don't have any. Pretty standard, just like everywhere else. I got one in there. We're going to fill that out and we'll get back with you. Oh, I'm sorry. You're here for me. Okay, I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Uh, let me stand up and be formal. So here's what it is. Um, I saw the picture and I thought, well, how appropriate would this be? We just left to the city police department. Okay. The street, the right around the corner. No, he's not there was a lieutenant uh, okay. who came in, stuck his nose all the way in my business, started demanding my ID, okay. got rude and obnoxious just because I didn't care to stop yes. talking to the clerk okay. and tell him what I was doing. This is America last I checked. Okay. I don't think the mayor would approve of lieutenants in his police department behaving in that manner okay. to free citizens. Okay, and I'm not a sovereign either. So yeah, okay. Me. I'm just a guy who knows my rights. And I'm recording because I'm dealing with an, a big issue, legal issue, okay. for court. Okay? I'm doing everything the way I'm supposed to. I'm acting pro bono, whole nine yards. Yeah, I mean, you I'm know. over there on my own doing what needs to be done for my case. And then, first of all, the girl that works over there, there was two of them. So I don't know. Do you remember her name? Honey? The, the bad one. Longer hair. Okay. She calls the police. Okay. Maybe because I'm recording. I'm allowed to take a record of my legal matter, right? Yeah, no, I mean, it wouldn't be because you're recording or anything else. I mean, you know, it's just we get recorded all the time. Just because they treat everybody that yeah. way then. So that's not cool. So what she did was she called the police on me whenever I was literally just asking for my records from there. If I was at the right place, I got them. Okay. I got what I needed. Um, so she called cops. He comes over and he's literally in the middle of my doing my business with the clerk and demanding me to talk to him. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be rude, buddy, but I, I'm busy. Right. You just bear with me. I'll, I, I asked her not to call the police yet, that I would handle that. I'm the one that asked about the police being in the position to handle my question afterwards. She explained to me right off the bat that yes, you could do that after we're done here, the records, it'll help you even to have those records to talk to the cop. Okay. So the point, is he rushed he was called for no reason other than to get on my nerves and get in my way of my business then you got a lieutenant walk up the hallway stops stands there staring at us all rude bald-headed guy lieutenant dude and he's going who are you what are you doing what do you, what do you want are, can can i help you and i was like sir obviously we got it you know yeah. i was like what's your name anyway you know, and he didn't identify. And then he said, give me your ID. Like lunch, he said, give me your ID. I said, your ass. I'm not giving you my ID. How about you tell me who you are so that I can go file a formal grievance on you, which is what we're doing. Okay, so this is the complaint form just for, um, like if you have 
trash pickup at a house near you or something like that. Oh, so, they told us to come over here for the police. Yes, yes, here. which I can give you an official personnel. Oh, okay, so stop working this on them. Right here, yeah. This, <laughs> we don't. Need, we're not even yeah. residents. So this is um, a request for information or service, which is normally, um, you know, a complaint. I get it. On tall grass, city or something stuff, like that nature. Right. So if it's a formal complaint against a police officer yep. or another city personnel, mm -hmm. what happens is I give you a form, you fill it out to the best of your abilities, and then I have to have you take an oath swearing that it's the statement Fine because what will happen from that is they'll look into it and they'll um you know pull all video footage if there's any of that type and of let me ask you this will you look into it if i don't swear to an oath well i mean we're going to look into it but if you're filing a formal complaint mm -hmm. on someone you do have to if you fill that paperwork out you do have to to swear are to you going to need my identification in order to do so well if I'm going to have to do it. You owe oh, me. You're going to need my yeah, ID, right? Okay, right. well, that's a violation of the federal law. Okay. You do not need that for a grievance. What you need to do is address the situation. And Which, here's what that, I'll no, do. You said, you said you wanted to file a complaint. Yes. That's, that's a grievance. completely different than you saying, hey, I just want to make a verbal complaint to you on this officer and look into it. Ma'am. According to no, our you can formalize because it's in the duty of every officer who's working under the color of law. Okay. It's your duty to report. So when someone reports something to you and then mm -hmm. gives you evidence, which I am, it's your duty to take over from there. So are you going to email me Yes, ma'am. That's okay. what I'll do. There you go. Now that's how I like to do it. procedure does not trump your state law, nor does it trump civil law. Of course. Okay. Of course so it doesn't here, trump the, the Constitution. The that. If you want to go ahead and you want to file a formal complaint, mm -hmm. which is what you said you wanted to file a mm -hmm. complaint, yes. that is a paperwork where you have to fill out and then you have to take an Oh, I know the Open Kentucky Records Act. Anonymously. That's not, that's not open record. Records. Well, open it's, records it's written in different. Kentucky records, okay. but okay. Open records is completely different. I understand so that, can, too. They both fall under the Attorney General. One it's, is for a formal grievance on a police officer or a city personnel, and one is for open records. I understand how it breaks points. down at different places. So I'm not so. going to argue this point or anything else. I will be happy to look into any matter you want me to look into. Thank you. If you want to file a formal complaint against somebody, I can give you the paperwork for that. So how would you like me to proceed? What I would like to be insured of is that when I send you the video of the incident, mm -hmm. then you will follow your duties Absolutely. to take formal action, formal action. You can swear. We will look into every matter just as we do every. So if I follow up three months from now, I'm going to be able to see the record of that being taken action on. You can do according to our, you can contact us. We will contact our attorney. We will do any matter that we need to do. Oh, she's a good bullshitter. You're so, sweet, but you're a bullshitter. Very, no, I'm not a good Yeah, you're, you're a good so, bullshitter. I appreciate you coming in. What would you? How would you like me to handle it? Uh, you I would like for you address? to do your duty when I give you the, the record, okay. and I would like for you to swear on your oath under your name against the officer's actions. That's what I want. And then I want that to go on the record, and I'm going to follow it up. And if he has to go on the Brady list, I'll follow that up as well. Ma'am, I know my rights. I know the law. Yeah, because he's a very aggressive officer. Yeah, that he right there is dangerous. That man's be. dangerous. So this is where you can send all the information to. And, and I will do that. Will you and I got your word that you will swear under oath to, to, to the, what you witness in the video. I appreciate To you take formal in, action. And you can send all the information. Do I have your there. word? There is the information. That's, That's how much. bullshitter rolls how in the legal department. How have departments. you been bullshitting? That's how they roll. That is a professional bullshitter yep. that walks. You thought you were slick. I thought you were slick too. Good job. And she wobbles, but she don't Wait, thank you, official misconduct. They need a lot of work here in Radcliffe. You're great. Back. You're great. Thank you. So there's no point in formally filing anything here uh, because they're not going to do nothing. Well, we're waiting. Did she? Uh, is she going to get that form? She promised, or did she just run away no, because I called her out. To submit it into her email. Um, no, that's the video. That's the video. I need the. She said we had the wrong complaint forms. Okay. Hold Can on. you make sure I get three formal complaint forms for officers, please? Sure. And tell that woman she's full of shit. She does a good job. Yep. So. All right, Mr. Duvall, you hired a secretary who is a damned liar, and she just got caught. That's what we do. We catch them. We catch them lying because we're not stupid. We don't play the circle jerk. They have a Terry Owens, and we have a Terry Stigdon. <laughs> uh, and there's an Angel Owens and a Terry Stigdon. Did you get the forms for me? I'm going to go get the forms. Okay. She just went looking for them, too.
You just kind of no, disappeared there. When I backed you in the baby corner, you just kind of disappeared. I didn't know if you was no, going to get me the forms I'm or not. not sit here and argue Man, just do your job. You call me a name. I am doing my job. Thank I didn't call you a name. Well, I, mean, I said you're a bullshitter. That's a thing, not a name. You wouldn't have to argue with anyone. I wonder if the mayor will agree with your behavior. Mr. Mayor, hopefully you're watching this. If not, I'm sure some of my people are going to be sending it to you. Hopefully he's more... This was so supposed to be simple for me, Thank Radcliffe. You. Radcliffe, I didn't even know was full of crap like this. I had no idea. There was two. There's there was three officers. I'll, I'll print an extra one since you failed to get me the right number of them. We always be paying for our stuff, don't we? Respect America. Have a great day. Bullshit or Bucky. Like hot sauce. Did you smell that? Smell that. All right, tyrants everywhere. Place is full of shit. Full of tyrants, full of shit. Full of liars. I think it's the whole damn legal system. I'm, still, I'm losing trust in all of them, guys. Every damn one of them. I'm losing trust. I'm losing faith. Hopefully, there's one or two left higher up that can handle some shit. Because this. The way things are right now is unacceptable. It will not get you through your legal matters.